In order to anticipate the potential impacts of climate change, scientists have turned to studying the ancient geological history of the Grand Canyon. By investigating the geological strata of the canyon's past, researchers hope to gain insight into how the region might be affected by future climate shifts. Designated as one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the Grand Canyon's immense valleys and countless layers of rock spanning millions of years of Earth's history are awe-inspiring. But a recent study conducted by UNLV has revealed that the Grand Canyon's marvels extend far beyond the surface. Vast cave systems that are hidden beneath the canyon have been discovered and are believed to hold valuable insights into the future of climate change by examining the past records of nature. Professor Matthew Lachniet, a paleoclimatologist at UNLV, helmed a research group that procured an ancient stalagmite from a pristine cave in Grand Canyon. By scrutinizing the mineral deposit's geochemical composition, they were able to assess the precipitation patterns that occurred during the post-Ice Age warming phase. This information enhances the comprehension of the potential consequences of climate change on the summer monsoon rains in the U.S. Southwest and northwestern Mexico. The published results of their study on October 2nd in Nature Geoscience demonstrated that water levels in the cave rose between the periods of 8,500 and 14,000 years ago, a time known as the early Holocene, which saw temperatures rise throughout the region. The researchers utilized a paleoclimate model to arrive at the conclusion that the increase in water was likely due to the intensification and expansion of summer rainfall. This was due to the atmospheric impacts on air circulation patterns, which caused the winter snowpacks to melt more quickly and sped up the process of evaporation that fuels monsoon rains. According to the authors, this fact is noteworthy because the majority of the water that infiltrates through bedrock and replenishes groundwater in caves and aquifers presently originates from the melting of winter snow. However, during the early Holocene, a period in which peak temperatures were only marginally higher than those of the present day, both winter and summer precipitation were instrumental in replenishing groundwater in the area. According to the authors, if temperatures continue to rise and surpass those of the early Holocene, it could result in an increase in summer rainfall in the high elevation Colorado Plateau. Additionally, this could lead to a more intense North American monsoon, a weather pattern characterized by a pronounced increase in thunderstorms and precipitation, typically observed from June through mid-September. Lachniet, who retrieved the stalagmite from a cave in the Red Wall Formation on the eastern south rim of Grand Canyon in 2017, stated that our results were surprising. During the previous warm period, both the summer monsoon and cave infiltration increased, indicating that summer played a significant role in Grand Canyon groundwater recharge, even though it is not as important today. Despite predictions of future aridity, the possibility of more intense summer rainfall may lead to greater subsurface infiltration than currently seen. Stalagmites are a prevalent site in caves and serve as an archaic way to measure precipitation and chronicle past weather patterns. These formations develop due to mineral-laden water trickling down from the cave's roof and dropping from the tips of stalactites. Over several millennia, the calcite minerals from water droplets accumulate and preserve a record of rainfall in the same way that tree rings do. Water contains three natural forms of oxygen, with one form decreasing in quantity as rainfall intensifies. This data is retained in the stalagmites as they grow. Due to the notable disparity in the oxygen isotope composition between precipitation in the winter and precipitation in the summer, it is plausible to approximate the proportionate contribution of each respective season. The alteration in the uranium-234 isotope, as well as fluctuations in the thickness of stalagmite growth, provide insight into the fluctuations in the quantity of precipitation. Professor Yemeni Asmarom from the University of New Mexico stated that the oxygen record was verified by the growth data and that the uranium isotope data confirmed the notable rise in summer moisture during the warm period attributed to the monsoon. Regrettably, the effective moisture is reliant on the balance between precipitation and evaporation, and unlike the moderate climate of the Grand Canyon, the arid southern region is expected to become drier due to the higher temperatures. 
By utilizing stalagmite samples, the research team was able to recreate the groundwater recharge rates that took place in the Grand Canyon region during the early Holocene period. Groundwater recharge rates refer to the quantity of water that infiltrates aquifers. The team concluded that high groundwater recharge rates were probable on other elevated plateaus within the vicinity. However, it remains uncertain how this phenomenon applies to hotter, low-elevation desert environments. It is evident that the continuous human-caused climate change is resulting in elevated temperatures across southwestern North America, which includes the Grand Canyon area. This warming, along with the expanding population and agricultural demands, can decrease the rate at which surface water infiltrates groundwater aquifers. Furthermore, the recharge of groundwater is reliant on the frequency and strength of summer precipitation linked to the monsoon season. Currently, summer infiltration in the region does not make a significant contribution to groundwater recharge. However, recent discoveries indicate that this may change in the coming years due to the warming climate and the subsequent increase in monsoonal moisture. The impact of a decrease in winter precipitation and snowpack on overall groundwater reserves remains uncertain. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.